I was heading east on I-40 with a flatbed that couldn't wait. Because I was doing Jackson on August the 15th, and here it was the 16th, and I was already late. Well, I had an Elvis tape on a new player in that old rig of mine, and a big jug of coffee to help me keep her between the lines. Well, I crossed the Great Divide about midnight, and it was cool, and she was running good. So I thought I'd put all the miles behind me that I could. Well, I must have been dozing, I guess, for an hour or more, when I rounded a turn into a valley I didn't recall seeing along here before. Well, I got to wondering that maybe I'd missed my turn along the way. Then all at once, that whole valley got as light as day. Well, I pulled over and got out and took a look around. The sky was black, but I could see for miles, and there wasn't a sound. It was so quiet and beautiful out there. Well, it was like a dream. There were beautiful trees and mountains and even a little stream. And then suddenly there were thousands of people gathering as far as I could see. Young folks and old folks and kids all looking straight at that old truck and me. And then I heard something behind me. I turned around and, oh, what a sight to behold. There was Elvis Presley on my old flatbed and it was solid gold. He stood there in a blaze of light against the black sky. He was smiling and waving, but with a soft contentment in his eyes. Oh, you should have seen that diamond-studded guitar and that pure white suit he wore. And then he started singing. Lord, it was like I'd never heard him sing before. And I was so scared I couldn't move. I don't know how long I just stood there. But Elvis sang every song he'd ever done. And music just seemed to come from everywhere. And then, one by one, angels appeared. And they came and sat around him. They began to sing along, and they placed a halo of light above him. Oh, there was a concert like I'd never seen before. And then it was over, and he was gone, just like you'd close a door. It got so dark I couldn't see. And for hours, I just stumbled around. And finally, I decided I'd wait till morning, and I sat down on the ground. And when it got light, well... I was out on a stretch of I-40 in the middle of nowhere. No trees, no valley, just my old truck sitting there. Well, I climbed in behind the wheel and headed east as hard as she'd go. Well, I was almost afraid to stop. I must have looked like I'd seen a ghost. But man, what a story I'd have for the rest of them gear jammers now. Well, I wheeled into the first truck stop I come to and shut her down. I was shaking like an old fender when I walked in but I was going to act as natural as I could. So I dropped a quarter in the jukebox and told the waitress, hey, play something good. Well, I sat down and ordered a cup, thanked the waitress, and tipped her a dime. And then I picked up the morning paper, and I read the headlines. And then, and then I knew I'd just seen the farewell concert of the king. <laughs>